makeup channel and um, I'm still working out my intro. I'm not quite sure if you have any suggestions on that. I have a hair in my eye. Sorry about that. Um, if you have any suggestions on that, I greatly appreciate it because I'm so bad at talking in front of the camera. But anyways, um, I'm bringing you yet another zodiac sign. And if you can't guess by the sign on my neck, it is the Aquarius symbol. Now, like I said, all of this art is my original art. And the last one, I had to kind of film up close and show you the details. But this time, I'm going to actually show you my painting if you can see it i'm sorry i've got like stuff everywhere but this is my painting right here this is aquarius so as you could tell the birthstone is uh well not the birthstone but the stone of the zodiac i picked was amethyst and i went for a very purpley theme now i could have done my nails purple don't have time so bear with me now um as far as the makeup goes on this painting um, it was kind of like an ombre type of eye look. I went for like a gradient dark purple to like a light purple and then a purple wing. And that's exactly what I did on my face, except you, know, you can't really see the lower lash line in this painting. So I just repeated what I did on top on the lower lash line as well. And then the, the lips are like a mixture of a, a pink, like a mauve and a lilac. So that's what I did. I mixed in two Kat Von D colors so I can get that perfect lip shade, which is this one. Um, of course, it's going to look different on me because I'm a different skin tone than my actual painting. And then, of course, over here you have my signature. This has been a signature in all my pieces. This is um, just some old jewelry I had. I just tear them up. I just keep all my old jewelry because I don't tend to wear earrings too much like I used to. So all my bold statement earrings basically become part of my art pieces so I recycle them so yeah and then I beaded these these are my signature pieces and then you have the zodiac it's a very large zodiac so it barely fit but this is the not the zodiac but constellation it's a very large constellation and I just kind of fit it right there and I put beads to show that's the constellation and then I went for something different. Usually it's she's uh Aquarius is the water bearer and I wanted to um She's always has a like kind of like a vase or something, you know, kind of like a jug or something, and she's pouring water. Well, I made a sphere instead. The water is coming out of the sphere, and it's kind of like this really delicate bubble crystal, and she's holding it very delicate with her hands. Excuse my hands. I am still working on painting my hands a lot better, so that's basically what I got. And I kind of put her some really pretty, like the trendy uh, pointed nails as they call talons um, on her fingers so that she's a little bit more fashionable I guess you can say so yeah this is my Aquarius painting this look was very fun to do based off of my very own art that I create and I'm so happy I love doing art pieces they're just you know they're a part of my life and I love recreating it to wearable makeup so that you guys can try that at home and have something kind of a little bit zodiac sign ish if you're an Aquarius and you're looking for a look especially for you know any kind of time during the month you know Valentine's has already passed but you know any time during the month or even on your birthday and you're an Aquarius try this on now we are pushing into when you see this video it's going to be pushing into Pisces so I will have Pisces up a little bit earlier than this one probably at the beginning of the month because I am traveling uh, to see my family in kind of like mid-March, so I kind of want to get all this stuff done, but I will have stuff pre-filmed for you. It's just going to be a week that I'm missing, so I'm just going to have like two videos that I need to pre-film for that week. So enough of me talking, so for you Aquariuses out there, this makeup look is just for you. So I hope you enjoy and look out for Pisces. I have a husband that's a Pisces and a best friend that's a Pisces. Her husband is a Pisces, so I'm very excited to do that one because it's not your normal type of um, I guess it's not your normal type of makeup look for the birthstone because the birthstone, well not the birthstone, but the gemstone that goes with, coincides with Pisces is uh, bloodstone. So you will see that in the next one and it's very, very cool. So if you want to see how I did this look, recreated from my very own art, then just keep watching. All right, so I already primed my eyes and whatnot. I'm gonna take rock candy and set down my primer, and I put some tape on the edge of my outer 
corner so that we can create that wing effect. Then I'm going to take the Total Intensity Prestige uh, Eyeshadow Crayon in Purple Rain. I'm not sure if you can still get these at Ulta, but they are uh, any kind of purple cream shadow would work as a base. It's just to make the purple pop more. And I'm putting it on the outer corner and taking it to the tape so it's angled. Then I'm taking Sand Frost from the same line. I did blend out the pencil with my finger and I'm putting the lighter color on the inner corner towards the middle and just blending it all together. I'm going to take Peach Fuzz from the Sugar Pop palette. I took Rock Candy to set, you know my drill for setting my primer. So I'm just taking that in the edge to kind of mix, uh, blend everything. So I'm taking Deep Purple from the Anastasia Self Made palette. This is by far my favorite palette of all time because it really has a lot of cool colors. And I'm packing on the Deep Purple on the outer portion and winging it out of course taking it to the tape to have that wing and I'm just packing it on and making sure everything is nice and packed and pretty. Then I'm going to take this shade from the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I don't have the shade with me right now but I'm just kind of blending that on top where I have the purple, the deep purple shade so that it's blended out and doesn't look so you know choppy and just blend everything out and I'm using an Avon blending brush all right so we did lose some of the deep purple color so I'm going back in with that deep purple shade and packing it on some more then of course I'm going to lightly blend out those edges so it's nice and blended Now I'm taking Harlot from the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette and I'm going to apply Harlot on the inner corner where I put that lighter shade. This is going to act as our lilac shade. If you have any other kind of lilac shade, you could definitely use that instead. But this is what I have so far <laughs> as far as lilac shades. I think it's perfect. So I'm just kind of blending it in with that deep purple shade as well. Now I felt like it needed more, so I'm taking Beat Down from the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette and I'm going to act, like pack it on to the outer corner as well because I feel like the purple just needed to have a punch, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just packing it on and taking a little bit of that color in the crease more towards the inner portion of the eye. Then I'm going to take Rock Candy from the Sugar Pop, Sugar Pop Palette, I'm sorry, I cannot talk today, Sugar Pop Palette from Too Faced and I'm packing that on the brow bone to highlight. Uh, my favorite part is taking the tape off to reveal a sharp edge. It didn't go as sharp as I thought it would so I'm taking my Prestige uh, makeup eraser pen, you can also use just a use, um, sorry if my narration cut out, you can use a cotton swab and some makeup remover. Now I'm going to be applying the liner which is the, this is a NYX Cosmetics, uh, I can't remember what it is exactly because I've had it for a long time. It's just a purple liner, you can use any kind of purple liner. I would recommend a dark purple liner, I didn't have one, kind of wish I did because it would have made it look better, but um, yeah, I'm just doing my usual way of doing my liner. Alright, so going in with the Total Intensity um, Shadow Crayon in Purple Rain again, put that on the lower lash line. I did already do the rest of my makeup, set my under eyes and whatnot, so I'm just smudging it onto the lower lash line from the outer corner to about a little bit more than halfway, and then I'm just smudging it out just a tiny bit. Then taking Deep Purple from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette and putting that on top of course. And then I'm going to take Blossom, and the brush I'm using is actually one of my old painter's brushes. Well, not old, but it's ones that I've never used. Um, and I'm blending out the purple with that because I find it has more precision. Alright, taking the Sand Frost shade and putting that in the inner corner um, to about the middle, blending it in with that purple shade. Then I'm taking Harlot again 
and I'm going to pack that on top. All right, putting my usual waterline color, Lord and Berry. It's my favorite. It doesn't irritate my eyes and it lasts pretty long on my waterline. And then of course my NARS mascara just to prep for lashes. I'm using the ones I used in my uh, Capricorn ones, the same lashes. And uh, I can't tell you what brand it is because I got it off the Mercury website. Um, but I'm just putting those on top. I wanted to include what I put on the face and I'm using the uh, Physicians Formula um, pH Matchmaker Bronzer just to kind of warm up the skin a little bit. Just to kind of show you what kind of colors you can use to warm up the skin since these are cool purples. Then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and kind of carving out a little bit of a contour. And then a Physicians Formula uh, Pearl Lessened Blush. I can't remember what it's called but it's really pretty. It's like those highlighter type ones that they have. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay um, Illuminated uh, in Aura to highlight. Then I'm using Kat Von D's Aisha. And of course I'm going to mix it with, while it's wet, because these do set, um, using Mother on top of it and kind of mixing the colors together to make that perfect mauve lilac shade that's in the painting. Alright, so using my Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in Perversion, yes, Perversion, <laughs> I'm just going to draw out my symbol. My other Zodiacs do have symbols in different places, so I'm just going to have to figure out how to do that with all of them. But they're just basically zigzags, so that's what you're doing on your neck. You can use liquid liner if you prefer. And that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed Aquarius and look out for my next tutorial, which will be Pisces. And throughout the year, I'm going to have one for every month. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.